hey guys welcome to our next tutorial that is final keyword so here we will cover three types of final variables used with like final instance variable final static variable and final with local variables okay so let's start with final with instance variable so first of all what are instance variables so if the value of a variable is varied from object to object such type of variables are called instance variable for example we have a class student okay and we have actually covered that in the variable tutorial so suppose we have a student class and we have a name limit and age 25 okay similarly we have other 10 students with their name and age so here the property the variables for each objects are different so that is called as instance variable all right when the variable is varied from object to object such type of variables are called instance variable and for every object a separate copy of instance variable will be created okay now for instance variable we are not required to perform initialization explicitly jvm will always provide default values so if you are not providing anything here so it will come as null okay because jvm is taking care of it now here if so so this is the example right so here if i say so if i'm not providing anything here then it's fine jvm will provide that but what if i'll make it as a final okay then jvm would not allow this and what it will say the blank field x may not have been initialized okay so now what are the rules of initializing the instance variable with final keyword so for final instance variable compulsory we should perform initialization before construction completion okay and before construction completion so this is very important so so the various places where we can do that so first is at the time of declaration okay let me comment this so at the time of declaration so here at the time of declaration we can define final with instance variable the second one is with instance block so here we have defined final int x and then we are saying okay so this is the instance block okay without any name so here we are defining x equal to 10 okay and the third one is inside constructor okay so this is the class so then we say final int x and then so constructor with the same name of the class okay int x so these are the only three values okay these are the only three places where we can initialize final with instance variable if we are trying to define any other place then it will give an error so for example if i am trying to place this in any method okay so it will not allow what it will say it will say cannot make a static reference to the known static field x or similarly if i'm saying public void m1 here if i'm saying x equal to 10 here also it will say the final field this cannot be assigned all right so i hope you have understand this now let's come to the next so that is the final with static variable okay so here we have the static variable so let's see the simple example like we are covering the student example for the variables here for the what is static variable so suppose you have 100 students okay and with the 100 students you have the different name like Nemeth, Amit, Sumit okay with a different rule number but the college name is same so why should I actually create six you know 100 copies of college name instead of if I'm defining static here then only one copy will be created okay so this these are so this is the static variable 
So here, if the value of the variable is not varied from object to object, such type of variable are not recommended to declare as instance variable. We have to declare those variables at class level by using static modifier. In case of instance variable for every object, a separate copy will be created. But in the case of static variable, only a single copy will be created at class level and shared by every object of that class. For static variable, it is not required to perform initialization explicitly. JVM will also provide default values like for the instance variable. But now if the static variable declared as final, compulsory, we should perform initialization explicitly. Otherwise, we will get compile time error and JVM would not provide any default value. If I say it final, okay, now you can see it will throw the error. So we have to initialize this. Now, what are the rules? So for final static variable, initialization compulsory before class loading completion. Okay, so what are the places? So at the time of declaration, okay, or inside a static block. So final static index, and this is a static block. So these are the only two places where we can initialize final static variable. If you are trying to compile at the third place, then it will give us the error. Okay. Now let's come to the third, that is the local final with local variables okay so sometime to meet temporary requirement of the programmer we have to declare variable inside a method or block or constructor this type of variables are called local variables or temporary variables or stack variables or automatic variables for local variables jvm won't provide any default values compulsory we should perform initialization explicitly okay so now if we come here so here jvm will not provide any value so if i run it it will run hello okay so the proof of concept is like this so it will throw an error okay so here jvm will not provide any default value all right now here if you see the third case so the only thing that we can actually put before local variable is final. Okay, if we are not putting any any keyword, that doesn't mean that it is final. So sorry, it is default. So default will applicable only for instance and static variable, not for the local variable. Okay, now the fourth one is, so here if I have M1 method, which is passing 10 and 20 as a parameter so here so if i'm not providing any final here so i can actually you know change the value of x and y okay so you will see 100 and 200 but if i'll make it final okay then it will throw an error and it will say the final local variable x cannot be assigned okay so here we can't declare the formal parameter of a method because they are simply so these are the formal parameters because they are simply act as local variable of that method and hence formal method can be declared as final if formal methods declared as final then within a method we can't perform reassignment all right so i hope you can understand the final keyword with instance variable final variable, static variable and local variables. Thank you.